From the campus of the University of Tennessee, Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee, we're here from 1996 U.S. Gymnastics Championships. And the United States defending champion at 14 years old is Dominique Mociani, who finds herself in third place behind Shannon Miller. And there are her parents, Dimitri and Camelia, both from Romania. She's on a brand new floor routine and she's expected to do a brand new, very difficult first tumbling pass. The question now is, will she be able to defend her title? Well, if she has the shot to do that, she has to be basically flawless. Crowd loves it, Bella loves it. Well, you know, John, it was a great, great routine, but I just don't think it's going to be quite enough to overtake Bell Stan Miller at this point in time. Like I said, it was, it was really dynamic. I think she needed to do the bigger first tumbling pass. She was supposed to do the same thing J.C. Phelps did, a handspring double front, but goes back to her old tumbling pass. Still very difficult. But maybe to bring in that huge score, she just needed something a little bit extra. Brand new floor team. Did you catch the title? Devil went down to Georgia. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. She has choreographed this so well. Great facial expressions. They're going to love it. It will be perfect for Atlanta. Yes, and to put, things like in, to put things in perspective for you, J.C. Phelps, who is in the lead right now, is still to go on the vault. And Shannon Miller is still to go on the bars. So this will have to be a huge score. This is the tumbling pass that the audience just loves because she bounces out of this move. The most attitude we've seen so far today. Yeah, yeah she looks like a 14-year-old, right? A 9.8. I doubt. I'm surprised I would have expected a little bit more. 14 wasn't difficult enough. She really needed that more difficult first tumbling pass. The start value was only a 9.9. .9. That's what she was working from. So with one last performance, J.C. Phelps finds herself in first place. Actually, Our two performances. Will be the ball and the ball. On the board. On the board. But you have to remember that J.C. has to hit here. Come on, she can't go out there and blow this vault or she's definitely out of the competition she still has to hit here's a family who has sacrificed so much for her to get here today she only sees her dad maybe every weekend maybe other every other weekend they put their family in hock to pay for her training We haven't seen too many vultures in the competition today stick their landings. That's going to be a crucial factor for the American team. This vault's out of a 10.0. One small thing. Work on the landing. On the board. Tighten up your leg. If that tightens up, the rest is going to be right there. Look out there and get ready for it and then show it. All right? You know, but she's got one in the bank. She has absolutely nothing to lose. She took a couple little steps on the landing. She should be going 100% to stick this landing. 
like her dad is cheering her on. Boy, this has got to be tough waiting for this. Shannon still to come on the bars. Nine seven two five. So it's not a terrific score. Well, the door is Come definitely on, open, but she has a second chance. Remember, it's the best vault of the two. Come on, she's stick the landing. You can guarantee the score will go up. Same vault. Oh, oh big step. Yeah. No better. Worse, I think. <laughs> you feel the nerve? So, you know, I think that's going to be enough Great. to overtake Dominique Moshianu, but trial, that right? really, really opens the door for Shannon Miller right there. Job, Who would have thought she'd even be time. this high up at this point? You know that she has good. no yeah. idea what position she's in in this competition. Well she's it just concentrating on sticking this landing. Lot, a lot more height, very stretched out, but really forced quite a substantial step on the landing. The score for the second ball to 970, oh, but the good news is she will keep that first score of 9725. That ensures her at least a second place finish. We'll have to see what Shannon Miller does. But first, Dominique Dawes with her final performance, and she is also on the ball. And remember, that sixth place is in conjunction with her compulsory scores because today she's been on fire. Her optionals have been exceptional. Right, she started in 10th place after compulsory. That's the old does that we all know and love she is just amazing on this apparatus when she puts her mind to it there's no stopping her this is a one and a half twist a 10-0 vault lots of height lots of power opens up right there so at this point dominique is not a factor for the top three positions the 9775 for her first vault she gets one more shot at it but it is incredible that she has climbed out of 10th place and you know, with the top 14 advancing to the Olympic trials, it's an important meet for her. A big confidence builder. What do you think, better? It looks about the same as the first ball. Carbon copy. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> a bittersweet day for her, but the sweetness came with the four rotations that she's just been through and did a tremendous job, Dominique Dawg. Yeah, I would say that she definitely won this round of competition. So the same score, 9775. We'll have to see what her final position will be. And speaking of positions, Shannon Miller can win it all, or she can take second. Her fate and that of JC Phelps is next. 